guys, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Fantasia and I love to give you guys things that make your life better. Welcome to the channel. And if you're not new here, welcome back. I love you guys, you guys know this. So in this video, I'm not gonna do anything super deep, super serious. We're in a new month, happy November 1st. It's getting chilly outside, but I have a whole basket here of favorites that I have been loving from the month of October. These are products that I have been using, abusing, absolutely reaching for and i think that if you guys see anything in this video you guys would love to um try them if you can if you want to so yeah i have everything from makeup a couple of lifestyle things i actually had some food i wanted to share with you guys but your girl ate it all so i don't have it to show you and i don't think it would be fun so like if i don't have it to show you it would definitely be fun to share but um yeah so i'm gonna try to share these products with you guys in the order that i apply them and i also included um some little clips of me applying them as well so you guys will be able to see that but yeah let's go ahead on and dive into this video i would love for you guys to stick around subscribe hit the notification bell comment down below so we can be great and grow all of the things so we can grow this channel let's get into it <laughs> so i have products here that I love using and abusing. I'm gonna start off with order of application as best as possible. Um, first of all, I gotta give an honorable mention to this Summer Fridays Lip Butter Bomb. Oh my gosh, holy cow. This stuff is my absolute favorite everyday lip balm. I use it every time I leave the house. I use it daily, multiple times a day. In fact, this one is actually empty. Uh, I just, the other ones are in my purse somewhere but i use it at work i use it on the go i use it at home this is amazing it's buttery it's soft it's luxurious it's nice it's it smells like vanilla they have a bunch of flavors but vanilla is my absolutely my absolutely really it's my absolute favorite i love the vanilla one that's the only one that i buy i tried one time a different flavor and for me it might just be in my head. The quality is not the same, but they're definitely pretty colors. Do your best to try the vanilla one. Every single time I have this lip product on, somebody's asking me, I mean, it's like a clear, let me see if I can get a little bit out of this one. I actually can't. It's like a clear te um, texture, if you guys can see that. It's just clear, but it's just so balmy and it makes your lips look so juicy. And I'm telling you, every single time I wear it, somebody wants to know, what is that on your lips? Like, what is that? Your lips look bomb, they look glossy. I always get something like that every single time I'm wearing it. And it's such a basic color for that to be happening. Go ahead and try this. It's, it's holidays, they got holiday gift sets out. They have sample sizes. You're not gonna want the sample sizes because this is gonna do it for you. Go ahead and try that. All right, so let's get into face prepping products. The first product that I wanna mention is this Dalba First serum spray i had mentioned this in a holy grail uh makeup video a couple videos back if you guys want to go back and watch that but i ordered this off of amazon and it is so freaking good this dalva first serum spray it hydrates it leaves your skin nice and radiant it's so good and it's just nice it smells refreshing and you just automatically see a glow as soon as you wear this and i bought this last month and you can see that it is pretty much empty because I use it daily and they recently had a sale. I don't know if it's running what it was before, but once you try this, you will not want to go back. And it's Korean skincare. Korean skincare, girl, if you don't know, is the bomb, okay? So next, I want to dive into primer. Uh, I have been wearing one foundation here lately and that foundation has been the bomb. I'll get into that here later. But the primer that I've been using, the primers that I have been using underneath that foundation first is the Palladio Rice Primer. This primer is the bomb. It's just really mattifying, but it also makes it perfecting, just like it says, mattifying and perfecting. And it's affordable. You can get it at Sally's Beauty Supply or probably online, but this is really nice. It just kind of creates this like pretty canvas with your makeup while mattifying it without drying out your face. You guys will not regret trying that if you wanna try it. Next, this primer is really bomb, but it's not as cheap as the uh, Palladio Rice Primer. This is the Tarte Clean Slate Timeless Smoothing Primer. So the time, it's the Tarte Timeless Smoothing Primer Base. This stuff is phenomenal. 
absolutely phenomenal. If I had to tell you to choose between the two, it would be this one. I just got the sample size because you guys know I'm trying to be a little bit more minimal, but this is amazing. This just makes everything look pretty much perfect underneath. It is more on the mattifying side, but um, I mainly just apply it to like my T-zone and I find that that works best for me, but I'm sure you can use it all over your face. This is really nice. I think you would enjoy trying it and it does come in a full size as well so let's move on into foundation since that is next you guys i have been using and abusing this house labs tricyclone skin tech foundation this literally has been the only foundation i have worn all month and that's unheard of for me i like switching and rotating out my products just to get used out of them but for some reason i have just been pulling and pulling and pulling for this it's the foundation that i have on today and i don't know if i told you guys this but i have on every product on my face that i'm talking about today so you can see how it wears but this foundation is just pretty that's the best way to put it i'm not going to lie i have foundations that are a lot prettier that I love a lot more but something keeps drawing me back to this it's really nice it's totally worth the money I love the skin tone or the skin shade of this just everything that goes on top of it just looks just glamorous that's the best way to put this this is a very glamorous foundation it applies nicely everything just goes really well over it and it's really going to make your makeup stand out if you want something that's just going to kind of grab the attention when you come in the room that's this type of foundation and I absolutely love it. I am in the shade 460 medium deep and I absolutely love this foundation. It's really, really nice. So I wanted to mention that. And then I kind of skipped over something for the base, which I want you guys, I want to share with you guys. This, these are the AOA Studio um, Super Soft Paw Paw Wonder Blenders. They come in a package like this. And I have used them. They come in a package of six and they're latex free. And you guys know my holy grail. The only sponge that I own is the e.l.f. Total Face Sponge, which is still my holy grail. But, 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 but I have been reaching for this one all month. I have not even touched my Total Face Sponge. And that's kind of because they're all dirty. And then I had these because they're so popular on TikTok. They're so affordable. They're like 10 bucks. You get um, six sponges. That's amazing and the quality is amazing. Absolutely amazing. Uh, I love these mostly for blending out my concealer. I noticed that these blend out my concealer so much more. I'm not gonna use bad um, language. These blend out my concealer better than my Total Face Sponge. I will not lie about that. And I've just really been enjoying the application process whenever I use these. Sorry this is dirty, but I've used all of them so they're dirty. But I love this sponge. I don't like it better than my total face, but it's up there. If it's hanging, because I'm not going to lie, I've dabbled into um, other sponges. And I'm not going to lie, I don't keep them if I don't like them. The fact that this is still lingering, I use it once. If I don't like it, it's just oh well. And I get to the point where I wasn't even trying other sponges because nothing matched my total face sponge. And this it's up there so if it's hanging around it's good it's affordable you can get it a lot cheaper than the total face sponge both are cheap and i do want to mention that not all sponges are created equal don't feel like you can go to the store pick out a sponge and just because it's a sponge you're going to get good application as someone who's been applying makeup for years and just kind of playing in it i don't believe that that's true you got to get something that's work that works well for your skin and that works nicely um i don't think you need the beauty blender that costs twenty dollars because neither of mine cost over five a, a piece because neither of my sponges cost much but get something that works well uh so i highly recommend these for you guys let's move on into the rest of the application of makeup because it's really just like a full face of makeup that i have here to be honest with you these concealers holy cow Holy, holy, holy cow. These concealers have just replaced every concealer in my collection. I think I've mentioned that before. I use, concealer was one of those products I could have a couple of different brands. And there's things in my collection that I just don't need more than one brand. If it works well, I just kind of stick to the one. There's things I like to play with that might, um, you know, have multiple like eyeshadows. You can have a few different palettes, you know, but 
this concealer has just been doing it for me it's the only concealer i've been using for the past few months and it's amazing it's nice it it goes on just nice and flawless as you can see i mean all the girlies on tiktok use this i mean all the makeup artists use this this is a nice concealer it is the the two four oh my god it is the two face born this way multi-scoping concealer super coverage I have the shade Butterscotch and the shade Maple. These are amazing. Love them, love them, love them. It's to the point where I have literally not touched another concealer in like over two or three months. Now, I do love my Maybelline um, Magic Eraser Concealer from the drugstore. That's always gonna be a holy grail. To me, they're kind of similar in a way and that's why I like them like the finish. But I highly recommend these if you guys are just looking for a good place to start with concealer. These are really nice and I absolutely love them. So let's move on into bronzer. I have a couple that I want to share with you guys because I have been grabbing for these quite a bit. This is the MAC uh, Rich Golden Finish Bronzer. This is amazing. This is just so pretty. It goes on so flawless, so matte. I love this and mine is in Rich Golden. And I just have been loving this. I've been reaching for it and it just does not disappoint. It's such a pretty color and you guys will see that in the application whenever um, I put in that clip. And then I have been reaching for this cream bronzer a lot here lately. And this is the Rose Ink Bronzer. Now, I like this because it goes on nice and dark, but it also has a, just a different finish than what I'm used to. It's almost like a transparent, glossy finish. But the finish ends up being just so nice and I've been reaching for this the last month when doing my makeup. It smells nice. I really do like that. It's not like the best in my collection type thing, but it is a beautiful, nice bronzer that if you want to check it out, you will not be disappointed. And I am in the shade Capri. Capri. So it's really nice, really rich, really golden. Next, we're gonna go for setting powders. I have a few here. I have been absolutely loving this Dominique Cosmetic Translucent Setting Powder. This just makes my under eye so flawless. I find that I reach for it all the time. It just makes it flawless, matte, pretty, and I don't have any problems there when um, using it. It's really nice. Setting powders are one of those things that's like, eh, eh, but that one I have just literally been loving. And anytime I just find myself reaching, I know that I love the product. And that's definitely one of them. So what I've been using to set my face is the Makeup Forever Professional. This I have been like reaching and digging in and loving. This is a really nice powder. I just really, really enjoy the powder. It just does it for me it makes everything just look so flawless so pretty and it's just nice it's a really nice powder that's going to give you a flawless finish now if you've been rocking with me for a while like since i started my channel this is a staple this is never going to be out of my collection nothing tops this this is a staple that I absolutely love. And this is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish. If you don't get anything out of this video, this is the one product that is absolutely worth the money. This just takes your makeup to the next level. Like if you look at my face and you're like, girl, it's so flawless, it's so nice, it's beautiful. This is why. This finishing powder just makes your makeup so beautiful. I love this stuff. Like. It's just nice. I can't explain it. Like just that flawless, pretty finish that you see on my face. It's this. And they do have some really good dupes at the drugstore, but I just feel like this is the product that's irreplaceable that you will just love on and it will love you back when you have it in your collection. So this is a staple. It's, it's not going anywhere. So let's talk about blush because I've been reaching for a few blushes lately. And the first one is the Patrick Ta blushes. I have been using this one a lot, but I love all of his colors. This is just the one that I've been reaching for. Holy cow. There is nothing on the market like this blush. And when I tell you blush is my favorite, favorite makeup product in the whole wide world. And I have a lot. That's one product that I just, just choose to switch out and use different ones. I don't have anything like this in my collection. It's not duplicated. It's just so freaking pretty. So you get a cream blush here. 
and then you get a powder blush here and these are in just so worth the money they're luxurious they're pretty they're nice oh speechless girl and this is lovely get you a patrick ta blush like oh amazing amazing and then i wanted to go on and mention this because this is just as amazing this is the ben nye blush palette holy cow there's really rarely a blush palette that I love. Um, there's really a blush palette that I just love because you can use every single shade, but you as a dark girl can use every single shade in this palette. Not only that, the application process with these blushes, chef kiss girl, chef kiss, okay? Like it just goes on baby bottom smooth. They're so pretty. And look at all the options you have. Not only do you have every single option in here, but you can mix two, you can mix three this way, you can mix three this way. I mean, this is endless. Like if you're just looking to start off in a good place to start where you can just use and abuse and have one product to go to, something like this is amazing. And this is in, I guess, um, 63. And there, all the shades are listed on the back. So I absolutely love that blush palette. So let's move on to eyeshadows, girl. This eyeshadow palette has me in a choke hold. And that's rare because it is an all matte. It is an all neutral colored eyeshadow palette. But this is freaking amazing. This is the only neutral eyeshadow Oh my God, I shall it really? This is the only neutral eyeshadow. Oh my gosh. This is the only neutral eyeshadow palette that you will ever need in your collection. Mark my words. This eyeshadow palette is freaking amazing. It's luxury in a palette. All of the shades go on phenomenally. You'll see in the application process, they're buttery, they're soft, they're pigmented. He put his foot in this palette. It is freaking amazing. Not to mention, you get two creams to work with over here. And these creams you can use as bases. You can use as eyeliners. This is a staple for me. An absolute staple. And the packaging is just beautiful. It's I have been using this over all my colored ones. Over all my, just this. You need this, sis. Like, you need a neutral eyeshadow, eyeshadow palette in your collection. But if you're going to get one, this is... All right. Don't say I didn't tell you. Don't say I didn't tell you. So next, there's a couple of more um, makeup products left. And then we are going to go into a couple of just lifestyle things I have here. So the first thing I want to talk about is this lip combination here. And you guys will see me apply it. This. Lip products is another thing that I just believe you can play with, have fun with, switch out. But this Fenty Beauty ooh, Re Gloss Bomb, it's a Fenty Beauty Gloss Bomb, but it's in the shade Riri. The, le the, leaps, the lips speak for themselves, sis. Like this, uh, I don't have anything like it in my collection. I told you guys. I rarely use um, color on my lips, but something about this just makes your lips so pretty, so juicy, so glossy. It's amazing, amazing, amazing. It smells good. It just, uh, and I'm going to tell you, talk about compliments. I wore this lip gloss to a concert uh, about a week ago and I had a face full of makeup on and the compliment that I got the most on was on my lips. Your lips are so pretty. Your lip gloss is so nice. Just constantly, this is amazing. Like all of these products are amazing, but that's a standout product for me. I love that. And then next is this Rare Beauty Lip Liner. You guys, this thing is so freaking creamy, so good, so nice. It just, and you don't have to sharpen it. It goes on like a, a creamy crayon and it stays on the thing that I've noticed about this rare beauty lip liner is the longevity of it you can just see it through your lip gloss all day this is amazing and I have literally been reaching for this non-stop period period and another just honorable mention that I want to mention is well I'm actually not going to mention this because they don't make it anymore so it doesn't do any good to mention it sorry about that 
Lastly, when it comes to makeup products, I want to mention this Beauty Blender Boost Setting Spray. This is one of the best, if not the best, setting spray that I have that is just, the reason that it is that I like it is because it's a matte setting spray and it just makes your makeup stick, it makes it last long, it makes it flawless. It just plumps your skin, it blurs, it does all of the things above, it smells nice. It just does something like, it makes my makeup just beautiful and I love this stuff. And not to mention the pink packaging, like, love this stuff, give it a try. And I have a few brush brushes, a few makeup tools that I wanna share with you guys. The first one I wanna talk about is this Sephora, I guess you call it a makeup sponge. I'll put it on the screen, but this, when it comes to blending out your powders, there's nothing like this. I love this thing. It's $5 at Sephora. They have all kinds of different ones. You can get a pack at Amazon, but this one just is just prettier. It's nicer. You put your fingers in it and then you just blend out your powders. This is nice. Don't say I didn't tell you. And then when it comes to brush tools, I have a few brush tools that I've been loving by Patrick Ta. This is his uh, Four Face 2. This gets powder under your eyes so beautifully. It's nice. And then it blends out bronzer beautifully. His double-sided uh, brushes are amazing. I love this. This blush brush, it's dual-sided. You can use it for the cream and then you can go in with your powder. Amazing, they're luxurious beautiful like i use and abuse these and they just stand out because your make your makeup application is just beautiful after using it i want to talk about this elf complexion duo brush this applies creams like a dream it's amazing it's cheap and like if you're uh if you're uh i'm losing my train of thought a cream applier like you know with your uh oh I just put blush on my forehead but if you're a cream applier with your blush your bronzer this is going to be your go-to brush and it's cheap it's like under 10 bucks you can get it at Target Walmart elf website elf is just that girl just that girl you guys will love using this for application of creams it's amazing I don't really use this side although I could I'm sure it would work great for something you will love this brush when trying it and I'm looking over at my makeup stash and I forgot one last thing. And that is these Kiss Lashes. These are a game changer. Oh my gosh. If you know, you know my struggle. My hate love relationship with applying strip lashes. Like, And I saw all the girlies raving about these. And when I tell you they just apply flawlessly they go on like a dream it's amazing like you guys will see in the clip that I put in <clears throat> excuse me the only thing that I can say when it comes to these is I don't keep up with them when I take them off I've got to do better with that because then I end up just wasting them and have to like rebuy them faster than I have to but these kiss individual lashes I'll have the name of them on the screen because I don't have the packaging but they're amazing. They come in different styles. You just cannot go wrong with trying these out. And I think that's it for makeup. I feel like there was one other product I was going to mention. Mm. My good old Stanley Cup. I never imagined I would be a Stanley girl. I said I refuse to give into the hype of getting a water cup. Like, because I feel like it's just always the next thing, the next thing, the next thing. They went from Yeti, then they went to the some other cups, and then they went to some other ones, and the stainless steel just kept going and going. But the convenience of having your water in a cup, and then just being able to drink out of a straw at home. Love my Stanley Cup. I will not be a collector of Stanley Cups, but I do love the one that I have, and it's worth mentioning. Lastly, I want to take you guys into Tubi. I have been loving Tubi so much. It's a free streaming website for movies and I've known about it for years, but I have found some really, really good series on Tubi. Um, I love my murder mystery, crime mystery shows and they have got some really good ones on Tubi. Um, 
Targeted for Murder is really good. I love Murder Chose Me. That's really good. If you're into murder mystery crimes, there's several on here that I really like. Um, Southern Fried Murder is really good. Uh, Murders Among Friends is really good. There's just so many series that I've just gone through and just had to continue to watch. So yes, I've been loving Tubi and that is really it for all the products I've been loving this month. What was your favorite product? What is your pro What are some products you guys have been loving? And if there's anything I should try, let me know. I am trying to go light on the makeup, so there's not too much more I'm probably going to get. But you know, it never hurts to try and be able to look up things and add them to your collection, all of that. Anyways, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me in this video. I had so much fun and I will see you guys in the next one. I hope this video added something to your life, gave you hope, found you purpose, and I love you guys. Take care. See you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>